Welcome to Hogging Racing, guys. I get this question all the time, and I myself ask other people, what is your favorite drift car in a set of Corsa? I want to show you guys kind of my top five favorite car packs. The coolest thing is the car packs, generally all the cars have similar physics and stuff, and then each one just has their own little quirks. So then you can kind of choose whatever car you think is the coolest or whatever feels best to you. We're going to start this off with Virtual Drift Championship, specifically the Public Pack 2.0. These are truly like pro drift cars. They're all like a thousand horsepower or more, everything you can imagine, sequential transmissions, all that good stuff. This one in specific is probably my top favorite. Probably you might think a weird choice for me, but it's RX-7 FD with uh, rotary. I actually haven't driven it on this course yet, so. That's just so good though. It's so confidence inspiring. Like, this is literally first lap ever on this course uh, with this car. I've driven this course a lot, but not with this car. It's just, uh, it's so consistent. Like I know exactly what it's gonna do. I just loaded one of my old tunes up and went and ripped. I mean, it, <laughs> it speaks for itself. But VDC cars are truly like pro level cars. So I would not recommend getting these cars when you're first kind of getting started. I mean, if you want to just go try it, you know, by all means, it's a video game. Um, but these cars really are like as realistic as it gets um, from what I've seen and heard and driven myself. You get all the same kind of uh, reactions and how the car kind of works, the grip levels, angle. All that good stuff. Um, they actually use these cars for online competitions as well. So for any of you guys that are real life drifters and you're looking to compete um, or you already do, get Virtual Drift Championship cars. They're insane. Just a little quick tip for these cars. I usually start out with the base tune kind of as it comes. We gotta do fat entry here real quick though. I start out with the base car kind of as it comes every time I go to a new track. Um, I'll switch the gearing up generally always, um, but that's it. And then I'll kind of go from there and just do little tweaks. But out of the box, like they're really, really good. All right, one fat entry before we go to the next car. Let's see. Eh, I need to get out wider, but you get the point. These cars are just ridiculous. On to the next car pack. Yeah. All right, so my next car pack is Death Wish Garage. So I know a lot of you guys out there like staying true to the roots. To me, this is as close as it gets. Kind of mid horsepower cars, let's say, kind of lower. They're all around like 400 horsepower, I believe. Maybe some are cl a little closer to 500. These cars feel so, so good to me. They feel so realistic and really give you that like kind of street car, practice car, drifting experience. You can tell just <laughs> the difference in speed and aggression, right? From these compared to the VDC. So these aren't comp cars, right? These are like what most people would be drifting. Maybe not as pretty, these cars are pretty sick. Um, but like drivetrain and power wise, all that. Woo, baby. I guess I should stick to the Pro cars, which are harder to drive, but <laughs> to me, they're like really spot on with kind of how they work to real life. Oh, should have left in fourth there. The only kind of gripe I have with them is the gearing is kind of weird on them. You have to go to like the lowest gear ratio. It's kind of like that in a lot of car packs though. But these ones will be real wonky where like third gear is like not that usable and then second gear is like wild. It's kind of the only thing that's a little weird about this. But as far as like the inertia and the physics go, they're a lot more spot on than most car packs and, and act more realistic. But again, I have a better recommendation for you guys that are just getting into it but want that real experience. So let's move on. Okay, so this is World Drift Tour Street Car Pack. I My favorite car, and this is definitely the R32, but 
Honestly, every single one of the cars in this is so good. The A86, by the way, if you want like a low horsepower, kind of grassroots drift experience, that car is awesome. But these would be my pack of choice for people that are new to drifting um, and want to want it like a good learning experience. It's not like too frustrating. This and the, the Death Wish Garage are similar in a lot of ways. I think the gearing works better on these ones. I think the Death Wish Garage are a little truer to IRL, but these are really, really good, honestly. And the R32 is just bae. But yeah, so these cars are honestly really on point. Um, they don't have that like understeer thing like the Death Wish Garage cars do, which I think is kind of realistic. Um, these cars just like aren't quite as aggressive in the, the front end, let's say. So they're a little bit slower transitioning, but they're really true to like IRL drifting and uh, you can't go wrong with these cars. Also, the nice thing is they're on servers everywhere. But why would you go anywhere but Haugen Racing servers? If you guys didn't know, we have our own street and comp server, which is super dope. And we got like 1,500 members in there right now, I think. So definitely join. Link is in the bio. Okay, you guys are probably wondering, what the hell are you driving, Matt? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this is a car and car pack, rather. Uh, but th specifically this car. The whole car pack's great. But I absolutely fell in love with this car. I've been driving it so much lately, like really just the last week um, as a film in this video, but my God, they're so freaking fun. So this is the Gravy Garage car pack. This is specifically the Beater JZX90. It's so freaking funny, but it, God dang it, this car is fun. It just absolutely rips. So I probably wouldn't start out in these cars either. I would kind of start out in the World Drift Tour Street for the least frustrating experience. These cars kind of need some tuning. Um, out of the box, they're a little odd, but once you get them tuned, get your steering wheel settings right, my God, these things are so fun. Now I'm just now I'm just getting excessive. This car is too fun. All right, last but not least, we got one more car pack. All right, for our last car pack and a car, you guys are probably gonna flame me for this, but Aussie Drift Go. All right, they are technically cheater cars, um, but man, they're really fun to drive. I like I can't deny. And this Ford Mustang just looks, sounds, everything. It's just so outrageous. They have like adjusted inertia and physics so that they're easier to drift. They'll kind of hold angle and they won't spin out on you. And so it doesn't give you a realistic experience because um, they're kind of cheating. So you can get away with a lot of stuff and not spin out and it'll slide sideways for a lot longer than it normally would in real life. And the coolest thing is I found with a lot of these packs when you find the right steering wheel settings you just adjust force feedback and it works for all of them. I'm sure I could get stuff like more dialed, but I haven't changed steering wheel settings this entire video. All right, one last retarded entry on this thing before we finish the video. <laughs> I tried. I was like, how far back can I just reverse like all the way to it? I need way more speed. All right guys, well that is it. I'm sweating up a storm in here. Let me know what you guys think, what you agree with, disagree with. I'm always looking for new car packs and uh, maybe even old ones that I haven't tried yet that are you know, better. So again, this is my opinion, my experience. I've only been doing the sim drifting thing for like six months now, so I'm definitely learning a lot as we go. But yeah, I hope this helps you guys. If you guys wanna drift with me, Check out our Discord, come join us. We have a street server and a comp server running 24 seven and we got a great little community going, so super pumped on that. Hope you'll hit that subscribe button and leave us a like and hogginrace.com, all our sick merch. We just dropped this t-shirt by the way, so go check it out. All right, peace out guys.